Welcome guys to yet another tutorial. This time I'll be flashing. Actually, I've already flashed the Pixel Experience Spy ROM. All thanks to the developer for making it so smooth. And like the daily driver, I have, I've been using it as my daily driver and it's really very smooth and stable. I just brought my Moto G5 back to life. So let me quickly show you some of the features. First of all, let me quickly jump onto the settings. And show you this about phone. As you can see, Android version 9, Pixel Experience. Let me show you the Easter egg. There are tons of features. From actually, here you can uh, right swipe. The, the, that's a bit annoying. You have to double swipe or uh, long swipe to get into the app drawer. Here you can access the reasons. It's very smooth transitions, as you can see. Here you can swipe between recent apps. And uh, let me quickly jump on the settings and show you what, are, is, what all is included in this ROM. Let me quickly switch off the night light. And so uh, let me increase or decrease the brightness. As you can see. Now let me quickly jump on the mode of actions here. Device gestures, double twist to camera, open camera is working fine. The inbuilt camera is this Motorola camera is inbuilt. Here, let me quickly snap a quick picture. It works fine. Qu camera quality is okay. However, it could have been better. But I have also installed a Pixel 3 camera, but it lags. It's somehow not very user friendly as of now. As you can see, it lags a bit. But portrait mode works good, works fine. And uh, let me quickly jump on the settings again. As you can see, animations are really very smooth. Moto actions, ambient display works just fine. Let me quickly show you. As you can see, here's the ambient display. It again works just fine. Fingerprint is also working. Although if you are on a stock Oreo ROM, uh, although if you are on Pixel Experience Oreo, you would have you will have to flash a zip file uh, to activate the fingerprint. Fingerprint gestures again work just fine. I have set the right swipe to take a screenshot. It just works fine. And let me quickly jump on to screen off gestures. Screen off gestures again also work fine. Double tap to wake allow approximately sensor. Everything works just buttery smooth. And now uh, the system if you have to enable if you like the stock Oreo like uh, recent navigation bar you can switch this off here as you can see but I feel this is better I've got used to it and uh, best part about best feature about this ROM is the face unlock works extremely fast as you can see it's looking for a face and it unlocks amazing and the next best part is the digital well-being is inbuilt in this ROM just as in pixel phones here you can see how many t how many minutes or hours you used your phone how many times you unlocked it how many notifications you received in even for individual apps so that's pretty pretty decent battery life is again also good there's a battery saver inbuilt and best part about this battery saver is it doesn't stop animations like in Oreo animations were gone but this time they have the animations in the battery saver mode so that's pretty neat mm, but that was pretty much pretty much it guys uh, all you can do is even if you want to root the device you can flash the magisk.zip file volti is working fine let me dial a quick number here you can see calling YGO works and everything works basically fine it's very smooth let me quickly show you an audio sample So if you want to get background playback, all you can do is flash youtubevance.zip. I will provide the links in the description below. So that was it for the video. If you have any queries, please feel free to drop them down in the comment, in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, please do like it.